three on three, you want that speed. He was over 25 miles an hour earlier. And he's out there to start OT. Kopitar wins the draw. He's out there with uh, Kempe and Doughty, but now a pass on the right side comes to center ice and a board battle. Away with it, Malkin cross ice. Nobody by the Pittsburgh bench charging in with it. Carlson moving down low. Carlson stripped by Kopitar, then he upended Kopitar. But we play on the puck over the glass. Now Kopitar, man, you, you're going against one of the best creators as a defenseman ever in Carlson. And Kopitar just seems to always be on the right side of the puck. He just gets into a position. Well, watch Kopitar take away the middle, take away the middle, stick on puck, stick on puck, take away time and space. See both guys kind of lock up down low, but that's excellent defense against a guy that can hurt you. Yeah, and it was a good read there by Kopitar and Dowdy. Communication between the two. I think Carlson was trying to draw the two of them so we have one of his teammates wide open. Kings win the draw. Out there is Fiala, but he couldn't race past Crosby and company. Crosby with it in the King zone. Out up high to Latang, came out of the zone, and Pittsburgh regroups. Latang in quickly, stripped by Fiala. Fiala's pass hit a stick. Winds up to Latang, feeds the middle. Crosby a shot. Goes wide. Latang, Crosby out with Gensel. Gensel a shot off a stick. Oh, Deneau got a stick down. Good timing by the veteran center. Penguins go for changes. We're in overtime. Matt Roy at center ice. Hands it off. Fiala to Deneau. Deneau slowly along the boards. Watched by Rust. Leaves it for Fiala. A pass to himself off the corner boards. Deneau changing. Fiala feeds it out to Roy. That's a good possession play there by Fiala. He was tired. Deneau was just changing, but the Kings still have the puck. Roy now out with Dubois and Moore. Here's Dubois in down to the circle for Moore. A shot save. Rebound, and Dubois couldn't get there. There's that penetration speed by Dubois again. I've seen it more tonight than any time so far this season. It looked like he probably could have taken a net, the puck to the net himself, Jimmy. He had an open path, but he elected to give it to Moore. Big save by the goaltender there. Carlson waiting for changes. Malkin is out along with Smith. Carlson into King's territory. We're in overtime. Ahead for Malkin. Watched by Spence. And out to the blue line. Or it's tipped across to Riley Smith. He'll bring it out of his own. Leave it for Malkin. Malkin in to the left wing boards. Swings it across. Latang a shot looking for a tip. Smith couldn't tip it. The other way, the Kings. Pass by Moore, broken up. Oh, a good play by Latang. Here's Lazat. Overtime ice time for Blake Lazat. Moving to his left. Spin lost an edge. Oh. Recovers. Oh. Keeps it in the zone. He falls down. Might have a problem with his skate. He, does, he certainly does. He cannot use his right skate blade right now. Bad timing. Turnover. Kopitar in. A blast. Oh. Misses the net. Oh, he had the game winner on his stick. Did he crank it up or what? Oh, did he ever? And you should have seen the look in his face. He's so disappointed in himself for not hitting the net. But boy, did he hammer that shot. Overtime tied at three. Doughty with Kopitar out. And now Kempe with it in front of his bench. Picking up speed in down to the right circle. Shoots. Save is made. Rebound Pittsburgh. Rust drops it for the trailer. Raquel to Carlson. A shot pass. Tipped on save. They score on the rebound. Brian Rust. And the Penguins come out to congratulate the winning goal scorer. Well, you got to watch on the offside here. It was very close at the offensive blue line, but Russ stuck with it. He had a couple whacks. Kings are hanging around. Yeah, the referee just put his hand yeah. up for everybody to hang tight, Jim. You know, I, I saw it live and mentioned to our truck that perhaps now again, this, this is an automatic. This is not a coach's challenge because you're in overtime. It goes to Toronto. So it goes to Toronto without a coach having to challenge this situation. He's dragging his leg. He's dragging his leg. He's offside. He's offside. They're going to bring it back. Fans reacting in the building. That's, that's, 
It's a little bit too obvious there. So they're going to put a little bit of, well, they don't need any time back on the clock, right? That's right, After because it happened right away. was determined that the play was offside, therefore the call of the ice is overturned. There's no goal. We just set the clock for 37. So again, the, you know, the goal scorer here ends up being the offside player. So, you know, a lot of times you say, ah, oh, you know, it's two inches, it doesn't matter. This one, it does. Look at all the people coming back into their seats now. <laughs> Not over till it's over. <laughs> Add a little extra set of stairs, get yourself a workout. So Russ will get a rest. And the Kings get a new life. Fiala out with Dano and Matt Roy. Carlson, Malkin. And then back out there is Rust. The trickery. Here's Malkin. Into the King zone. Hands it off, Russ to the circle, in too deep. The wraparound, and did he score? He did! Russ gets the game winner. This one will count. Penguins win it 4-3 in overtime. And it's a wraparound again, so it's one of those. The Kings will get a point. I think under the circumstances, the emotional game last night, all those things. Well played game as far as the Kings limiting offensive chances, but the second wraparound goal against Phoenix Copley tonight. The first one was a backhand by Crosby. This one was a forehand by Rust. Entry was speed on the outside. So Copley's in position. And you can see right there. It just ends up underneath the goaltender. You see Phoenix, he kind of loses balance there. And there's enough room for it to get in. So it goes in directly. It went in right away. 